Something I forgot to show in the like video, the previous like video I did, is character classes. Uh, suppose if I want to find the customers whose second initial, or not initial, but second letter in their name is uh, has an I or an O. One way you could do that with what I showed you before is say, uh, where contact name, maybe if we get our where in there, uh, where contact name, like, and then a character, an I, and then anything, or a contact name, like, let's put this on the new line here, like, uh, underscore, O oh, percent. If you notice here, when I run this, oh, that's, that's a lot of names, let's do, or a lot of columns, let's do just the names, and I uh, notice all the names here have an I or an O as the second character. Uh, but but if you <clears throat> want to do more, more like maybe the second letter is an I, an O, or J, or an E, or whatever, this could get quite uh, cumbersome. So one way to <clears throat> do this, a little slicker way, is to use a character class, which basically is a bunch of characters in square brackets. And the square brackets means this expression matches one character. One character could be an I, or it could be an O, either one. Execute it, notice uh, the result's the same. I's or O's down here. Uh, we could also put a caret here, which means it doesn't begin, or it, it, it is not an I or an O. So let's run that. We see we have A's and N's and H's, but no I's or O's for the second character. You can also put ranges in here, like say we want um, A through E. We can do that as well. So now the second character will be A, B, C, D, or E. It looks like um, I have some A's and an E. I wonder if there's any others. Oh, here's a D right here. Okay. So anyway, that's that's character classes in a nutshell. I just intermix them with the uh, other symbols which the like operator uses. I could put a, a not here, and that would mean not A through E. Let's run that again. And we have the N's and the H's and the L's. I could also do A through E, J and O. And now, well, well, we have some O's. I know we have some O's. Let's put I here as well. So what this means, I know it's a little hard to read, but what this means is A through E, J, O, or I. <clears throat> and again, the brackets mean just for this character. And this character is the, here's the first character. So this is the second character in our string. Or if we're zero base, it'll be the first zero this will be the zeroth, and this will be the oneth. But anyway, the character class is not not too technical, but can can be useful. Notice here, here's an I as well.